Five years ago we hit a very difficult period which ultimately resulted in the club being uh, evicted from their ground in Tame. We then were nomadic for a couple of years so we moved to uh, Aylesbury United and followed up by moving to AFC Wallingford which is 20 miles away from Tame. Um, homeless, groundless, not a lot of support but from there you build the, you build something that you can create and what it did offer us was the ability to go away and think about what we were as a club um, when we were in Tame previously we were a single site uh, one pitch uh, and that really only facilitated senior football we went away and thought well actually football's more than senior football it's about grassroots football it's about the youth it's about boys and girls and giving them opportunities and we thought well out, out of out of where we've come from why not create something that caters for everybody the old ground in Tame where we managed to uh, generate a deal with the landowner that as and when he secured planning permission for its redevelopment for residential purposes, we were due a capital receipt from that. Spoke at uh, length to the Oxfordshire Football Association, he provided us with great guidance as to what we should be doing. So December, I think, of 2009, it really started to happen. Money came through and we started on site, building on these 20 acres in uh, March 2010. We're now sitting on a 20-acre site that, in addition to the main pitch, accommodates uh, seven other pitches plus an artificial training pitch. And what that allows us to do is to obviously facilitate uh, a lot of youth football and community-based football. So we've now got 25 teams uh, at various levels within the club. Clearly, we've only been in the facility since December of last year, and we're estimating quite a substantial cost in running the facility. So as a business, we need to make sure that we're financially sustainable first and foremost. Football by itself doesn't necessarily pay for itself. We uh, have a strong focus on community events here so we have lots of uh, uh, dance groups here exercise groups uh, lots of other community community groups that make use of a, a function hall and the facilities we have available uh, we obviously have the bar as well which caters for businesses and conferences during the week uh, but at the end of the day we're here we're all here for football we're all here as volunteers and it's days like today that we do it for Revenue through the gates obviously very important. Uh, a lot of that uh, is dependent upon how the team are performing. We've got a very good uh, manager that's been with us for five years, uh, a set of local players that, uh, that have grown up. We're a very young squad. We'll build from that and hopefully as a product of that will become successful and that will encourage people to come through the gate and watch a bit more. We've got a very good, uh, very good playing surface, a very good groundsman, Paul Coon, who was the South of England Step 2, Step 3 award winner for the last couple of years. We're an ambitious club, we want to move on as a club, uh, we want to have a successful first team and uh, uh, we'll, we'll be striving to do that over the forthcoming seasons. The pitch is the, the best non-league pitch I'd say you know, in the next two leagues above us as well. No, nobody's got a pitch around this area like this. Um, but sometimes it can be a hindrance as well because obviously teams come here, they look at the pitch and think, this is lovely, we can have a little game here. And they sort of, you know, step up their game by 10 or 20%. The facilities here are like second to none. We can train down the bottom there. Um, we've got the 3G training pitch as well. And all we're doing now is trying to build and try and get a better team so we can get promoted and move up the leagues again. The FA Cup... You know, it's something for the players, really. We don't very often get to this, this round, was it second qualifying round. Oxford City, Southern League Premier, second in the league. You know, great local derby. Everybody can remember playing in an FA Cup game, and that's, that's what you get, memories. It's just lovely. Every week when we come in, we train here. It's lovely to be back home where, you know, we should be playing. You know, we're just lucky to have this facility.